Hello viewers, welcome to MathTech. I am Amit Sharma. Today we are going to solve all the question of complex analysis part C from CSIR Net Mathematics June 2011. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 79. Let D equal to X belongs to complex number C such that mode Z less than 1 be the unit disk. Let F from D to C be an analytic function satisfying f of 1 by n is equal to 2n by 3n plus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 then option 1 f of 0 is 2 by 3 option 2 f has a simple pole at z equal to minus 3 option 3 f of 3 is 1 by 3 option 4 no such f exists in order to solve the question we have to learn the following result result an isolated singularity z equal to z naught of a function f of z is said to be pole of order m if limit z approaches to z naught f of z equal to infinity and limit z approaches to z naught z minus z naught to the power m f of z equal to l where l is neither equal to infinity nor equal to 0. If the value of m is 1 then it is called simple pole. Now given D is X belongs to complex number C such that mode Z less than 1 be the unit disk and F from D to C be an analytic function satisfying F of 1 by N is equal to 2N by 3N plus 1 for N greater than or equal to 1. Take 1 by N equal to Z this implies N is 1 by Z we have F of Z is equal to 2 by Z divided by 3 by Z plus 1 which is further written as 2 divided by z plus 3. This implies f of 0 is 2 by 3 and f of 3 is 1 by 3. Therefore, options 1 and 3 are true and option 4 is false. At z equal to minus 3, f of z is not analytic function. This implies z equal to minus 3 is a singular point. Now limit z approaches to minus 3 f of z. This is equal to limit z approaches to minus 3 z by z plus 3 which is equal to infinity. And limit z approaches to minus 3 z plus 3 into f of z is equal to minus 3 which is neither equal to infinity nor equal to 0. This implies z equal to minus 3 is pole of order 1. This implies z equal to minus 3 is a simple pole. Therefore, option 2 is true. Hence, options 1, 2 and 3 are true. Question number 80. Let f be an entire function. If real part of f is bounded, then option 1, imaginary part of f is constant. Option 2, f is constant. Option 3, f equal to 0. Option 4, f dash is non-zero constant. In order to solve the question, we have to learn the following results. Result number 1. A function f is said to be entire function if it is analytic in whole complex plane C. Result number 2. If f is an entire function with real part of f is bounded, then f is constant function. Given f is an entire function and real part of f is bounded, this implies f is a constant function. Therefore, option 2 is true. And option 3 and 4 are false. Since f is constant function, this implies imaginary part of f is constant. Therefore, option 1 is true. Hence, options 1 and 2 are true. Question number 81. Let f from d to d be holomorphic with f of 0 is equal to 1 by 2 and f of 1 by 2 equal to 0 where d is equal to z such that mod z less than or equal to 1. Which of the following is correct? Option 1 mod of f dash 0 is less than or equal to 3 by 4. Option 2 mod of f dash 1 by 2 is less than or equal to 4 by 3. Option 3 mod of f dash 0 is less than or equal to 3 by 4 and mod of f dash 1 by 2 less than or equal to 4 by 3. Option 4 f of z equal to z, z belongs to d. In order to solve the question, we have to learn the following result. 
result let f from delta to delta bar be an analytic function and f of a equal to b then mod f dash a less than equal to 1 minus mod f of a square divided by 1 minus mod a square where delta is open unit disk it is known as squarch pick lemma given f from d to d be holomorphic where d is z such that mod z less than equal to 1 when f of 0 is 1 by 2 and f of 1 by 2 is 0 now mod of f dash 0 is less than equal to 1 minus mod of f of 0 square divided by 1 minus mod 0 square which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 0. This implies mod of f dash 0 less than equal to 3 by 4. Therefore option 1 is true. Again mod of f dash 1 by 2 less than equal to 1 minus mod of f of 1 by 2 square divided by 1 minus mod 1 by 2 square which is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4. This implies mod of f dash 1 by 2 less than equal to 4 by 3. Therefore, option 2 is true. Since options 1 and 2 are true, this implies option 3 is true. Hence, option 1, 2 and 3 are true. Question number 82. Define H positive is equal to Z belongs to C such that Y is greater than 0. H negative is equal to Z belongs to C such that Y is less than 0. L positive is equal to Z belongs to C such that X is greater than 0. L negative is equal to Z belongs to C such that X is less than 0. The function F of Z equal to Z by 3Z plus 1. Option 1 maps H positive onto H positive and H negative onto H negative. Option 2 maps H positive onto H negative and H negative onto H positive. Option 3 maps H positive onto L positive and H negative onto L negative. Option 4 maps H positive onto L negative and H negative onto L positive. In order to solve the question, we have to learn the following result. Result The bilinear transformation f of z equal to az plus b divided by cz plus d where a, b, c, d belongs to r maps upper half plane to upper half plane and lower half plane to lower half plane if ad minus bc is greater than 0. Now given f of z equal to z by 3z plus 1 this implies a is 1, b is 0, c is 3 and d is 1. Now, AD minus BC is equal to 1 into 1 minus 0 into 3, which is equal to 1, which is greater than 0. This implies H positive maps onto H positive and H negative maps onto H negative. Hence, option 1 is true. Question number 83. At Z equal to 0, the function F of Z equal to EZ plus 1 divided by EZ minus 1 has option 1, a removable singularity, option 2, a pole, Option 3, an essential singularity. Option 4, the residue of fz at z equal to 0 is 2. In order to solve the question, we have to learn the following results. Result number 1. An isolated singularity z equal to z0 of a function f of z is said to be removable singularity if limit z approaches to z0 f of z exists finitely and limit z approaches to z0 z minus z0 into f of z equal to 0. Result number 2. An isolated singularity z equal to z0 of a function f of z is said to be an essential singularity if it is neither a removable nor a pole. Result number 3. If z equal to z0 is a simple pole of a function f of z, then residue of f of z is given by residue z equal to z0 f of z is equal to limit z approaches to z0 z minus z0 into f of z given f of z equal to e to the power z plus 1 divided by e to the power z minus 1 now limit z approaches to 0 f of z is equal to limit z approaches to 0 e to the power z plus 1 divided by e to the power z minus 1 which is infinity this implies limit z approaches to 0, f of z does not exist finitely. Therefore, at z equal to 0, f of z doesn't have
removable singularity. This implies option 1 is false. Now limit z approaches to 0, z into f of z is equal to limit z approaches to 0, z into e to the power z plus 1 divided by e to the power z minus 1. Now write the expansion of e to the power z in the denominator. We have limit z approaches to 0, z into e to the power z plus 1 divided by 1 plus z plus z square by factorial 2 plus and so on minus 1. Now 1 is cancelled with this minus 1 and taking z common from the denominator we have limit z approaches to 0 z into e to the power z plus 1 divided by z into 1 plus z by 2 factorial plus and so on. Now this z is cancelled with this z and letting z approaches to 0 we get 2 which is neither equal to 0 nor equal to infinity. This implies f of z has a simple pole at z equal to 0. This implies option 2 is true and option 3 is false. Since limit z approaches to 0, z into f of z which is residue of f z is 2. This implies option 4 is true. Hence options 2 and 4 are true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.